Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah, been a long time since I said that before. <laughs> Anyways, in the last part, we returned to the Mushroom Kingdom again, to Peach's Castle again for like the third time, and yeah, and I really want to like hope that I can fix up that like minor flickering issue that keeps on occurring because I'm getting a little sick of it happening myself and come on can I get in the uh, lovely start to this episode today are we five silver stars um this mission uh I think this sign has something to say about it clear ball you see in front of you is the star sphere when you get all five silver stars the power star will appear inside the star sphere so yeah basically there's five silver stars you can see them all on the bottom screen so <clears throat> and this is actually an extremely simple mission um this mission's actually changed completely from what it was in the original n64 version the, the original mission 3. the original mission 3 was um oh yeah and the, now there's a change hop lying around here um we're running around anyway with yoshi i don't think this is that much of an issue though because get it, you could also throw a bob on at it too, but I think Yoshi can eat the star and get it, I'm not sure though. Yep, alright, awesome. Um, what was I gonna say? The thing about the, uh, original third mission, it was called Shoot to the Island in the Sky or something like that, where basically the, um, you basically had to shoot up to that island there and all that there was was just a, um, there was a box that had a, um, there was a, um, a box that contained a, uh, star in it. So it wasn't a big issue at all to get that one, and I guess I could see why they would change this, but, I don't know, for nostalgic purposes, I don't really like the change stars that much in this game. I don't mind them, but, I mean, I grew up with the N64 before, long before I had a DS for obvious reasons, and, I mean, there's an eight-year gap between those two systems anyway, but still, I mean, I don't know, I just, I have much more of a, um, a memory for the N64 version than this one. I still played the hell out of this game when I was younger, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I just have more of a on memory of the, the original game. Um, when you saw me, uh, making an egg there a second ago, uh, you can do that really simply by just eating, um, a regular enemy like a Goomba, and then, you know, you pressing R to turn it into an egg, you can just do that and it will, like, really work, and wow, I'm surprised I actually made that jump, I hope that the, I don't know if it was, like, lagging or what, I mean, it looked like it was fine there, but it was kind of a little tiny bit laggy, I'm not sure. Either way, star. Very simple one to get to. I don't know how much stars and how many stars I'm gonna get in this episode. Probably not all of them. Um I'm also gonna decide that if I if there is a problem with the recording, I'm actually just gonna keep it up, keep the thing, and like if I need to re-record, then I will just re-record because you can just replay the any mission you want in this game. So yeah, Big Bob Bomb's Revenge. Uh, this mission, I believe, I don't know what anybody has to say about this. Um, wait, no, I already heard you say something. Um, does this Bob Bomb have anything to say about it? No. Okay, well, <sighs> basically, it looks like the Big Bob Bomb's back. I don't know. I'm trying. I've been. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm recording this on June 29th, which is really a lot earlier than the, uh, what does this sign here have to say? Does it say anything different? Uh, no. No, I didn't want to read that sign again. What the? Oh my god! Why is it that the jump button is also, like, the thing for reading the signs, too? Because, yeah, you need to jump up there, and that's what I've been trying to do. But of course, I keep on accidentally, like, bringing into that sign. Whoa, Jesus. I do not want to pick this heck of another ball on here. Okay, now the Mario patch should be around here somewhere. I hope it's not at the bottom of this hill. No, it's up ahead. 
Okay, good to know. At least I think it's up ahead anyway. I'm pretty sure it is, though. And yeah, all these ball bombs are coming out, like, more than before anyway, so yeah, the big ball bombs are definitely back. Okay, yeah, here we go. We need to get this Mario pack out of the way to win this mission. Because the thing about the big ball bombs revenge is that this is actually, if you've played the original Mario 64, this is basically the first mission of that game. You basically fight the big ball bomb the same way you fought him in that game. And, uh, yeah, I don't really want to be hit. Let me get my hat back. Oh, okay, that was really lucky. I guess they give you that just in case you get hit, but I don't know where it spawns after that. I mean, I think it might just go back to the original location, but I don't know if there's like a set, like, place where um, all those things spawn, the hats. Okay, so here we go. The king refuses to, to eject him by a single defeat. I'm back with a new star from Bowser. I've also restyled the mush sash. It doesn't look any different, though. Unstoppable, if you want the power to start, you'll have to knock it out for me. The only way you'll do that is pick me up from behind and fling me down, and that will never happen. Bring it, Shorty. So, yeah, basically, as I said, this is virtually the exact same fight as the original fight in Mars in the original game. Um, so, yeah. As I was saying, I'm recording this video, um, long before this, the first episode debuted, but I mean, I've... At this time, I've re finished recording, like, every single episode of, uh, Mario RPG and edited and rendered, actually, every episode. And I have episode one, um, for uh, this LP, um, rendered as well, and wow, that was a lot, even easier than the original fight with this guy. Oh, that hurts. Your sneaking skills need help, but you're pretty strong. I've always wanted a certain you. Here's a star, promise. Take it. Farewell. Okay, then. <sighs> See you later, King Dud. <laughs> Episode 5, Mario Wings the Sky. Um, shoot. I know there is a way to get this one, like, without the... What you need. What you need to do this, but it's a lot harder than it needs to be, and believe it or not, I think I might actually show this the, um, I think I might actually get a different star instead, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some of the other stars out of order here, um, I don't mean to be, but in order for, uh, this to actually work, um, like, in a decent, I kind of want to show this star legitimately rather than the way how you can get it without the, a certain thing that we need that we don't quite have yet. Um, you see that there's a power star in here, and this is actually kind of an annoying power star to get, actually. Because you have to deal with this, because what you have to do is you have to pound this stump in, and I am surprised as hell I did that that easily, because that chain chomp can hurt like hell if he actually hits you. He does a lot of damage, and... Yeah, you can stun them with bob bombs, but the thing about bob bombs is that they only stun them for like a few minutes, so I don't know if it's like as recommended or not to use them. <sighs> now, I guess I have time for one more star. I'm actually going to be kind of combining the last two stars of this level here, because the l star number six is the red coin star of this level. Now you might have been seeing some red coins around this world for a little bit. Red coins. They give you two regular coins. There's also an eighth star in the world called the 100 that is um for collecting 100 regular coins. Often in levels in this game, you want to try and combine um getting red coins and 100 coins at the same time because 100 coin stars they don't actually have any consequence, like, they won't make you exit the level if you get them, so... Ah, uh, please that bomb didn't notice me. No, he didn't. Wow. You can get a lot of coins here by, um, using Yoshi. Yoshi's one of the best ways to get coins in a level, because his eggs, they can 
kill enemies and gain extra coins from the eggs themselves. So he's all around mu a much better character to use than probably any other character for these types of missions. Uh, this first 100 coin mission is actually extremely easy, um, like most other stars on this level. We also have this Koopa over here who's incredibly recommended to kill because he drops a blue coin if you do manage to kill him, and you can get some extra coins. Uh, this guy, I don't really want to have the shell though. I'll explain the shell a little bit later on when it comes more, a little more early. So let's try and get as many enemies in sight as we possibly can. The good thing about um, the DS remake of this game is that it actually... It kind of... The coins don't actually really fly all that far in this game. Like, they kind of have this sort of... They'll actually kind of stop, which is a very useful thing that they actually do stop. Because... I mean... I don't know. Also, I guess I should say my original walkthrough of this game, I never actually showed any of these 100 coin stars on screen. I did in, I did show all the 100 coin stars in my, in my LP of uh, the original Mario 64, but not in the... Not in this remake. Or, um, yeah, not in the remake of Mario 64 DS. I never showed any of the 100 coin stars in this remake. Um... I'm actually kind of curious about something. Um, can I find another Goomba up here? Because I like to. Nah, I think up here is just bob Um. Because in the original Mario 64, if you went like around these poles enough times, which is hard enough to do on DS, yeah, you get coins through doing that. I don't know if um you get any through pounding them or not, but. No, you yeah, have to uh, go around these poles in order to get coins, which is very useful because you get about 20 a piece. You get 20 uh, free coins right here. Actually, doesn't seem to be as uh, bad as it was in the original, though. It seems to be like a lot more lenient, which makes sense because going around in a circle, unless, unless you're playing on a 3DS, which has the circle pad like I am, um, going around in a circle is actually quite hellish. Yeah, getting the 20 coins here definitely helps. There's a lot of coins you can get in this first level, like... So, yeah. I believe you can also do that... I don't know if there's actually any around the, um... The chain... I think there is actually some around the chain chomps pole as well. But, uh, that is a lot harder to go around than, like really worth plus the pole has to be up fully as well so you can't actually get rid of the chain chomp first so i think after this episode's over we'll actually um probably go on to the next world out in the next part because there's not really that much left that we have to uh, do i mean well, i still have to find a bunch more coins don't get me wrong and I have a good idea where I could probably get some, but still, I, I have to find them, that's the first thing. There are, there was like 10 coins up by a br an upcoming bridge. Okay, well, it's only two Goombas here in episode 3 then, so that's kind of annoying. Oh well. Yeah, there's a few coins up here, and then like the one remaining red coin, that'll bring me up to about 90, and I know where there's... Oh god, I'm gonna have to... Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably backtrack to get the star. That's not gonna be that fun. Dang it. Um, is there any other coins on this area? I know there's a, I think there might be a Goomba up here, but I'm not sure. No, I don't see no Goomba up here. Dang it. Oh, uh, lovely. I mean, I could have probably, I could probably just kill some bob because I know where the, uh, Red coin star spawns, but still. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's ten, quite ten coins in this ring here. If I can even get all the coins in this ring, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can with like side flips and stuff. But oh uh, god. Okay, here's the deal with the original Mario Wings the stars. That there's these five rings here, which basically. There's, yeah, what these five rings are here for. 
I don't really want to shoot out because if I get my hundredth with one of these coins, it's gonna spawn. My the hundredth coin is gonna spawn in midair. So I'm actually just going to do that because yeah, I left a few bob bombs lying around in um this area over here. I know I don't think I actually killed many of the bob bombs here. Plus, I imagine there's probably some of these some coins in these bricks here as well. Yes. Okay. Sweet. There we go. Think about the 100 coin stars that once you also collect them, it doesn't immediately exit you from the level, so... There we go, that's... Two more stars for the price of... We're only selecting one. And for now, that's gonna be... It for while on Battlefield. If you like this episode, then please be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you... Also like this episode, then be sure to leave a comment. And I just got a comment on, uh... Another uh, video, but yeah, whatever. If you like this episode, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.